Hello friend, welcome to Fearless World and we are going to talk about Incident Investigation Report that means after incident happened, after a lot of uh, protective measures and a lot of control measures applied in company but again incident happened then how incident can be investigated and what will the format of report we will talk in this video first of all we will talk about what is incident investigation and how it can be done and uh, how many steps are in, in incident investigation we will uh, talk about in this lecture this, these are the steps uh, for in incident investigation. Step 1 gather factual information about the event. Step 2 analyze the information and draw conclusion about the immediate and root causes. And step 3 identify suitable control measures. And step 4 plan the remedial action. In this video, we will talk about how invest how accident investigation report can be made and what will be the format and what will be the recommendation after investi uh, incident investigation and also we will talk about root cause and also uh, we will talk about suitable protective control measures applied there this is the in incident investigation report format this is the name of the company is abc limited this is the name of the company abc limited and uh, on the top of this you have uh, seen that this is a written incident investigation report that means after gathering information uh, we note in this format and uh, we note all things what we have found there and also we try to uh, find out root cause and also we give recommendation about the in incident investigation then first of all we will write in this form incident title that means uh, what is the incident title? So this is the incident. That means a person trapped right hand in between middle roll of DSR mill. That means in DSR mill a person's right hand uh, uh, in roller got trapped. This is the incident. And about this incident we will uh, investigate here uh, what was the root cause and what will be the recommendation. First of all I will try to make you understand uh, through picture uh, how incident happened and uh, what was the cause. This is the place of incident happened. This is the two roller and you can see here that uh, there is a uh, gap between two roller and a person was standing here and uh, tr uh, try to clean the roller but uh, roller was in running position and uh, the hand of the um, uh, operator uh, got trapped between two roller so gap between two roller in which hand of the injured person trapped area where the injured person cited for roll cleaning and instruct instructing operator that means a person is cleaning uh, this is the place where uh, operator was citing and uh, uh, cleaning and operator uh, running this uh, roller so this was the place of incident and uh, this was view from uh, far away from panel side and this is the roller you can see here this is the roller and these are uh, this is the uh, control this is control panels that means view of the operator desk this is the roller and bridle roll and platform this is the bridle roll and platform and on which person sighted and uh, this uh, roller was uh, operated uh, through this panel and uh, this is the place where incident happened so I think you can clearly understand uh, what uh, uh, where, where incident happened and uh, how incident happened. Then uh, by uh, watching this uh, video, you will able to understand uh, the you will able to understand how we will uh, fill up this form and uh, what will the content of this form. This is the place from where uh, this uh, roller uh, was operated through this panel but uh, this this is the roller place 
and uh, this roller is operated through this panel so operator can't view that uh, roller operation let's uh, start from beginning that means we will i think you, you have already understand understand how incident was happened and what was the cause and we will try to explain uh, through this uh, incident investigation report format first of all incident title incident title is trapped right hand in between the brittle roll of dsr mill and classification of this incident classification of fatal lti mtc rwc fse fatal you know that that means uh, uh as like death or lti that means lost time injury mtc that means medical treatment case and rwc uh, restricted work case fse first aid case and nmc minor or hippo these are the uh, number of employee injured that this 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 is the this was case of lti and one person injured and uh, details of injured person and uh, company employee contractor employee is a contractor employee third party that means you have to fill up according to your uh, site condition and uh, what was the name of the injured person mr abc what was the is age 22 years male and these are the ticket number contractor number uh, contractor name and nature of injury what was the nature of injury trapped in between brittle roll of D A D C R mill and incident reported by mr you can put name of that person and location of incident what was the loca location of incident location of location of incident was dcr mill exit brittle and incident number according to your company you can put here and date of incident this are this is the date of incident time of incident you can put here time and incident investigation uh, title date this and incident investigation report submission date this then after that we will uh, make a summary how incident happened the report report as fact only what you are clear in fact uh, specify the st status of anything else you report estimate brief a brief brief report of the incident given here what was actual done there at the time of incident uh, we have written about that summary of the incident the contractor employee met with an incident that results in crush injury due to roller crush injury to his right side shoulder that means this happened on the right side shoulder and chest and also in chest this injury also uh, happen in chest this happened when he was cleaning brittle roll at dsr mill when this injury happened at the time of cleaning and suddenly his right hand moved forward his right hand, right hand moved forward into the roll nip that means in nip point a roller there was gap and uh, hand uh, catch there and trapped between two roll he got injured to his shoulder and right chest immediately he was referred to hospital then uh, he referred to hospital and then to other hospital after first aid for further treatment that means the person first uh, sent to the one hospital where he got uh, first aid injury and then to the next other hospital for uh, further treatment so this was the summary of incident uh, what actually happened there then we will study here about uh, chronology of event we will uh, study about chronology of event that means how what was the sequence of uh, accident happened we will talk about this y you know that why we uh, note this because uh, if we can't uh, analyze the incident in uh, incident then we will not able to find out what was the root cause so for finding root cause this is ne necessary to know about all things about uh, incident happened there and uh, all steps taken at the time of incident so uh, we will analyze step by step first of all at the time of 11:20 pm dcr mill stopped for panel roll change and production plant switch over from tmbp to crc that means uh, this mill was stopped at the time of 11:20 pm and at the time of 11:25 pm as per regular practice roll cleaning process started 
by operator uh, role cleaning process started by operator and associate helper and also uh, a helper help to the operator at the time of uh, cleaning roller and outside of operator side with the help of customized tool that means there was a tool customized tool for the cleaning of that roller that was used at the time of cleaning and pick up on the roll was not getting clean and roll was not getting clean then at the time of 11:30 pm injured person climbed at the platform then what was happened at the 11:30 pm injured person the person who was injured climbed at the platform near the equipment for the direct cleaning that means uh, that was not uh, cleaned by the uh, specified tool but for direct cleaning he got uh, climbed at the platform and abc operator was on the operating panel one one operator was at operating panel and other was other was uh, other uh, was cleaning at the time of incident happened for rotating of the roll one person rotating the roll through panel and one was cleaning and cleaner was sitting on the platform keeping piece of cloth in hand that means that means uh, he was uh, cleaning through the piece uh, of uh, cloth by using hand and part of the roll circumference got clean that means uh, the circumference part got clean before the injury took place and cleaning person was guiding the operator for direction of roll to be rotated that means the the person who is who was cleaning the roller uh, guided the operator to uh, direction of uh, uh, roller to operate as soon as next uh, campaign of rotation start that means other side jab, uh, again rotated start then cloth with the palm of the right hand dragged into the direction of rotation and injury injury took place and when direction uh, rotation change then the person hand uh, got uh, trapped between two roller and at the time of time of 11:45 pm initially person tried to pull injured person but not getting succeeded so roll breaks operated and victim was taken out and shifted to hospital at 11:45 what happened initially person tried to pull the injured person but this was not possible and the, uh, again uh, operator shifted to the hospital then list of fact collected during the investigation what was the fact collected during the investigation look here first of all roll cleaning during roll change or after plant change is regular practice routine activity at dsr mill that means roll, uh, roll cleaning was the regular practice and uh, second both helper and operator working on dc dcr mill uh, for more than 4 months that means for uh, they uh, were new at for the that uh, rolling mill and uh, working uh, for last 4 month and customized in hours fabricated arrangement is available at mill for roll cleaning from outside of the equipment and operator and helper performed standard practice but roll was not clean operator and helper performed uh, standard practice but not clean then they use cloth manually to clean the roller and no safety system control for roll cleaning process and at the at that time there was no safety system control for roll cleaning process through automation available roll cleaning is purely manual process then uh, roll uh, cleaning of the roller was purely manual and the gap between the two roller, roller is 45 mm and what was the uh, gap between two roller 45 mm this is the enough for uh, trapping hand and activity covered in hira i think uh, in this investigation uh, hira was there that means hazard identification risk assessment but in this hira no hit no risk hazard risk identified for the roller cleaning that means the person who uh, initiated that means who made hira on that they don't able to identify hazard associated with the roller cleaning and risks and control measures
what was key factor identified key factor systematic facts no safety interlocks if there will be safety interlock then this uh, this uh, no safety interlocks through automation for all cleaning procedure and entry inside barricade area if there will be uh, interlocks then this incident will not able to happen there and hira for dsr mill active activities have not been carried out and uh, hira for dsl mill dsl dcr mill not carried out that means if proper hira carried out for that particular process then uh, that hazard can be identified through hira and what was the human factor then human factor is both operator and helper have lack of knowledge about the possible hazard or risks involved during the performing the performing of the task that means lack of knowledge who have lack of knowledge helper and operator involved in the time of incident and adequate communication between the cleaner and operator and the cleaner and operator have inadequate uh, communication because panel was other side and roller was other side and due to inadequate communication this happened and wrong sighting position of injured person and lack of knowledge to operate for safety aspect they have lack of knowledge and wrong posture of operator while operating the panel and wrong posture that means person uh, uh, standing other side and roller was other side that means there will uh, clear visible between operator and uh, uh, helper and what was the physical factor inadequate roll cleaning arrangement this is the physical factor there was inadequate roll cleaning arrangement there should be automatic or something uh, very low risk uh, uh, cleaning procedure there and no sop and visual in place and if there will be sop then the incident the chance of incident happening through sop uh, is very minimum and visual in place that means there is no poster that means you have to uh, be alert this is the uh, high risk activity you have to uh, follow this procedure if there is a visual like that then the operator uh, will uh, get alert about that and system that need to be reinforced this the, these are the system that means uh, communication and training these are the deficiency not found and man management of change this is also deficiency incident uh, investigation communication safety observation yes this is also deficiency planning emergency response these were also deficiency and contractor safety management is also deficiency mechanical integrity also deficient these are the uh, some point in which we need to work for uh, stop these types of incident happen in future and uh, this these are the recommendation after incident happen you have to make a recommendation for uh, submitting report to the management then if you will take as uh, such types of step then in future this can these types of incident can be uh, prevented then what was the recommendation recommendation was first provision of safety interlock for the roll cleaning then that means if you want to stop uh, in future happening this types of incident then you have to uh, you have to uh, make a provision of system interlock for roller cleaning both entry and exit bridal lip guard and who is responsible si operation target date and also implemented uh, implemented to be verified by some senior persons and second is hira of all activities then what activities are, are going in the D, dcr uh, all should be controlled by hira that means uh, uh, first of all uh, hira we have to make on that that means uh, we have to identify what types of hazard are there and also we have to take control measures to control that and third was recommendation was that uh, a standard tool for roll cleaning to be prepared and procured and fabricated that means for cleaning the roller a standard tool should be made for uh, uh, cleaning that uh, roller and fourth is ptw to be strengthened that means ptw permit to work to be strengthened that, that means it should be made make effective uh, for that and uh, training on possible hazard and risks involved in the dcr activity also 
training should be given to the operator and helper on the possible hazard and risks involved in DCR activity, not in the, the cleaning of roller but other activity which uh, was done there also that should be, um, uh, that activity should be trained to the operator and emergency response plan for the DCR area to be prepared. Also emergency response plan should be made that that means if incident happen then how we will deal deal with the emergency this should be made at incident invest investigation completion by prepared by you have to put the name of the person who who has prepared incident investigation report and reviewed by you have to put the name of that person who has reviewed this uh, incident report uh, incident investi investigation report and also you have to put the person name uh, approved by that means senior person i have already uh, uh, seen this picture to you supporting photographs uh, at the place where incident happened and also uh, uh, where was the panel and uh, from where this was operated then action taken what was the action taken this is the in this report uh, we have already talked about the recommendation given on this incident and the action taken on that uh, incident that uh, they have uh, installed a, a safety interlock that means if you open this door then the roller will be uh, shut down so this is the interlock if uh, that means proxy installed at the closed uh, position of the safety case logic logic implemented mill normal stop to generation as soon safety case open in mill running condition location of proxy installation this pro proxy installed that if you open this then roller will not run and cleaning mode second was cleaning mode cleaning mode feedback taken from the safety case proxy that means a logical implementation if safety case is open jog permissive for each role entry and exit bridle work role uh, tension reel and uh, pay of reel disabled and roll wheel will will be rotated only if safety case closed that means if safety uh, this is the case safety case and if the, this will uh, uh, this in closed position only uh, at the time ro roller can be operated but if you uh, go inside and if you try to operate that roller then that will not be able to operate because this uh, safety interlock was positioned here and if you open this door then automatically roller will be shut down in picture safety case is open no jog moment i think uh, this uh, incident investigation report uh, is beneficial for you and uh, if you if you work you if you are working in your company as a safety officer and uh, if you found opportunity to accident uh, investigation i think this will be help, helpful for at the time of incident thank you thank you for watching this video and uh, if you found uh, ben beneficial